We're coming to the end of this module now. I know it's been a very information heavy module, but the truth is that much of this is very simple. You simply need to make sure that you follow the guidelines and have your supplier get it right for you. Over time, all of this will be second nature to you. A key topic that I must mention is the use of inner and outer boxes when packing your items and readying them for shipment to your destination marketplace. Like much of this module, this information isn't particularly exciting, but it is critical to having things run smoothly for you. Let's start with outer cartons. Outer cartons can be referred to as master cartons, as they are the box that houses your inner cartons. An inner carton is a box that will house a certain number of your individually packed products that are ready for sale. Every inner carton must have the same number of units and, as a result, every inner box will be the same size and weight. Similarly, every outer carton must have the same number of inners. So, as you may have already guessed, every outer carton is the same weight and size. This allows us to do what we call case-packed shipping within Amazon and makes life very simple. So to confirm, let's say your inner carton can hold eight units of a product and your outer box can hold four inner boxes. That would mean that the total number of units in the carton is 32 units. As a result, every single outer box of that SKU would hold the exact same number of inner boxes and those inner boxes would all contain eight units. Your supplier will likely already have an inner and outer box for the product. If they don't, then ask them to do so and let you know how many units would be in the outer box and how many would be in the inner box, bearing in mind that an outer box must weigh a maximum of 50 pounds. Again, I can tell you how important it is to make sure that your supplier creates uniform inner and outer boxes for you. The stuff is simple, but it's also very important. An important note here is that adding in inner and outer boxes may affect the size and weight of your order. Let's take an example. Consider an original order of 500 units. The supplier tells us there's 24 units in total that are all housed within the outer carton. We can't therefore order 500 units and keep them as case packed, as we must change the order to 504 units. This would make it 21 boxes of 24 units. If you order 500 units, then you're gonna have issues immediately when you realize that you can't ship the odd box into Amazon easily. They must be uniform. Another common question that I get when I talk about outer boxes is, what size outer box should I use for my products? Firstly, like many of these steps, this is something that you'll work with your supplier to determine. That said, there are some guidelines that will help you out when you're trying to figure out the size to use. Make sure that the outer box does not exceed 50 pounds or 22 kilograms in weight. If it is any heavier than that, it won't be accepted by Amazon. And generally speaking, couriers don't tend to collect and deliver anything that's over this weight. Next, you must make certain that the outer box does not exceed 25 inches or 63 centimeters in length. Any longer, and Amazon will once again reject it. This is, of course, unless the actual item itself is longer than 25 inches. In this case, Amazon will permit the larger outer carton size. The outer box must contain less than 150 units, regardless of the size or weight of the box. And an outer box should contain at least two inner boxes to properly protect the products inside. As mentioned, you'll provide this information to your supplier and ask them for recommendations as to how best to outer and inner box the items. The supplier will come back with weight, size and quantity per box and will direct you to accept or alter their response. It's as simple as that really. As I'm sure you're seeing at this point, the supplier will help you out along the way. All you must do is make sure that your actions fall in line with Amazon's guidelines. There are certain pieces of information that should be on your outer boxes. These pieces of information are also known as shipping marks. I recommend you include the following shipping marks on the side of your outer boxes. First, add your company name or a shortened version of it Next include your brand name and then your item SKU. After that, you should include the piece quantity. For example, if your item sells as a six pack and there are 10 units in total in an outer box, that the piece quantity is 10, not 60. The reason for this is that we're always concerned with the quantity of sellable items. If those same items are sold separately, then of course the total box quantity would be 60. We then wanna list the net weight and the gross weight. The gross weight is the total weight of the outer box, whereas the net weight is the weight of the items taken away from the weight of the outer and inner boxes. Finally, 
you should add the words made in China to your outer boxes as this is a requirement in certain countries and it doesn't hurt to have it there anyway. And that's everything you need to know about outer boxes. Don't let this intimidate you. Your supplier is there to help you. Simply focus on maximising the weight of every box and keep them uniform and you'll be fine.